Hello guys, I'm for 3. So for today's video, we're gonna learn how to compute or how to get the standard deviation for group data. So since we already know how, how to get and find the standard deviation for ungroup data, so now we are here again in uh, standard deviation for group data. So uh, we already know or we know that there are several formulas are given to compute the standard deviation of a set of data shown in a frequency distribution. However, dito, isa lang gagamitin natin sa mga formulas na yun. So, this formula is this one. So, ito ang gagamitin natin na formula. Okay? Um, this, this is one that uses the steps in finding the mean using the unit deviation. Okay, for group data. Kung matatanda natin kung paano kinuha yung mean uh, using the unit deviation method. So, isa yun doon sa formula na dito. Diba? Okay. So, S is equal to I square root of summation of FD squared over N minus quantity summation of FD all over n squared whereas f is the frequency per class v is the unit deviation and is the sample size and i is the interval size okay okay so para mas madali natin maintindihan we have here an example so compute or find or get the value of the mean standard deviation of the following frequency distribution Okay? So, normally, normally, class, uh, guys, ang, ang example lang kasi, ang, ang given lang ay ang classes, ganyan, pati yung frequency. So, huwag nyo muna tingnan yan. Okay? So, ayan yung isa-isay natin paano nakuha yung mga bagay na yan. Okay? So, again, normally, ang given lang ay classes, pati yung frequency. Okay? So, paano natin, paano natin makuha ang mean or ang standard deviation for group data dito sa frequency distribution na yan. So, kung mapapansin natin kung ano yung nandoon sa formula, yun ang hahanapin natin. Okay? So, meron doon D, di ba? Ang D is the unit deviation. So, kung matatandaan natin doon sa mean unit deviation method, ang, gag ang gagawin natin, kung ano yung highest frequency, doon tayo mag to form ng 0 or mag-start ng 0 mag-start ng point ng 0 and then yung sa pataas which is yung lower limit yan, doon ang magiging negative at saka yung upper yan, sa baba, yan ang magiging positive kaya 0, negative 1, negative 2 negative 3, okay, so yan yung D natin, yung deviation natin okay okay, the next meron doon D squared okay, D squared, so ibig sabihin yung, yung nakuha natin na D yung deviation natin, i-squared natin yan. Okay? So, kaya meron tayong d squared. So, d squared, ibig sabihin natin yan, squared natin. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. 0 times 0 is 0, of course. 1 times 1, okay? it's 1. 2 times 2, that's 4. And 3 times 3, that's 9. Okay? d squared. Next, anong meron pa doon sa formula? Okay, tama. Pukunin natin yung FD. Ibig sabihin yung product of the frequency and deviation. Product, ibig sabihin FD, yung FD, multiply natin ng frequency sa deviation, sa D. Okay? So, neg uh, 3 times negative 3 would be negative. Okay, negative 9. Kasi positive negative. Pag multiply tayo, kapag pagkaibang sign, direct as negative. Next, 5 times negative 2, okay, tama, negative 10. 11 times negative 1, that's negative 11. 19 times 0 is equal to 0. 14 times 1 is 14. 6 times 2 is 12. And 2 times 3 would be 6, okay? So, na kuha na natin. Na, na kuha na natin yung product ng frequency pati ng deviation. So, ito na ngayon. Okay, so next, kukunin naman natin 
yung FD square, di ba? Kapag sinabi yung meron dyan sa formula, sa mention of FD, okay? Or FD squared. Sabihin mo po rin natin yung uh, FD squared, yung lahat ng, or yung lahat ng pan natin, yung D squared yan, okay? Tapos yung multiply natin doon sa kay frequency. Tanda na yan, huwag kayong malito, okay? So, yung D squared times F, or F times D squared, yan, yung dalawa, Okay? So, 3 times 9, okay, yes, would be 27. Okay, then 5 times 4 would be 20. 11 times 1, 11. 19 times 0 plus 0, 14. Times 1 would be 14. 6 times, 6 times 4 would be 24. Then 2 times 9 would be 18. Okay, so this is the a product of the frequency and the d squared. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yan, ang gagawin natin, i-add natin. Okay? Kasi, di ba, summation man. So, kunin natin ang summation, yun know, ang fd, pwede yung summation ng fd squared. Okay. So, para makuha natin, i-add lang natin yung fd, yan, i-add natin yung lahat, yung negative pati yung positive, so, the answer, pwede rin pa, pag hindi kayo malito, pag hindi kayo malito, yung mga negative, pwede natin yung i-add, diba? Yung negative, yung positive, para mag-separate natin. So, negative 9 uh, plus negative 10 plus negative 11 would be negative 30, tama? Okay, so negative 30. Ito naman, 14 plus 12 plus 6 would be... Correct. So, negative 32. Ay, positive 32, I mean. Okay? So, i-add natin ang negative 30 plus 32 since negative yan. So, 32. Ang sagot niya is 2. So, 2 lang. Diba? Kasi, negative 30 plus 32. Kasi, kahit plus yung operation kung may negative man. So, mag-minus tayo. And then, itong mas mataas, yung mga kunin natin na sign. Kaya, naging positive yung sagot. Ito naman, i-add natin. Let natin ang summation of f squared. So, the answer would be 100. Kapag i natin yung lahat, 27 plus 20 plus 11 plus 0 plus 14 plus 24 and plus 18 would be 114. Okay? So, huwag kalimutan pala. i natin yung frequency. The frequency would be, okay, 60. Kapag i natin yung frequency na yan, lahat ng 3 plus 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 14 plus 6 plus 12, it's about to 60. So, kung mapapansin natin, nakuha na natin yung lahat ng value doon sa, doon sa formula. So, isasubject na lang natin lahat na nakuha natin na given. Okay. Okay, so next, just simply subject the values. Okay? So, ito yung formula natin. We have S, standard deviation, is equal to I, square root of summation of FD squared lower n minus quantity summation of fd lower n squared. Okay? So, kailangan be careful sa formula kasi baka magkamali kayo dyan. So, understood. Maging yung mali ng result. Okay? Next. Subject natin. Anong interval natin? By the way, interval natin ay doon sa classes okay, 12. 12 ang interval natin. Okay? So, 11 plus 12 would be 23. Okay, then, pag dito naman sa upper limit, 11 plus uh, 12 would be 20, uh, 23, then minus 1 dito sa upper limit. Okay? Then, subject natin, so 12, the interval, then square root of summation of the FD, okay, exactly, that's 114, all over, and ang n natin is number of frequency. Ilan lahat? 60. Minus uh, quantity, summation of FD. Summation of FD would be 2. Tama? 2 all over N. So, 60. Then, huwag kalimutan ang square. Okay? So, 12. Copy lang. 12. Then, square root. 114 divided by 60 would be, okay, so 1.9. Minus uh, 2 divided by 60. 0. Point, okay. 0 0.03 squared. So, kalimutan ang squared. Next. Uh, 
Pa minus natin ng pi point nine minus i squared muna natin pala. Okay? Squared muna natin. Copy lang ulit. 12 square root of 1.9 minus square natin yan. Magiging uh, 0 point 0.0 yan. Okay, check lang sa calculator. 0, 0, 0, 9. Then, mamayos na natin. 1.9 minus 0, 0, 0, 0, 9. So, 12 square root of uh, 1 point uh, 8991. So, check lang sa calculator. So, 12 then square root of 1.8991. So, magiging 12. Extract na sa calculator ito. Ang square root of 1.899 magiging um, Tama. So, naging 1.378. Okay? Then, multiply natin. Um, 12 times uh, 1.378. Nagiging 16.536. Okay? Meaning, ang standard deviation natin ngayon ay 16.536. Uh, 5, 3, 6. Okay? Okay, so kapag interpret natin ng result, uh, S or standard deviation is equal to 16.536. So, on the average, okay, on the average, this given values differ by 16.536 points. So, yun na uh, dispersion ng mga ng mga data. Okay? So, ng classes 16.536. Okay, so that's it.